Welcome everybody to Pet Portrait Fun. Do your do it yourself Pet Portrait Fun kit. And uh, these were some of the ones we did last week. We finished up. Um, this was Cooper. I mean Bentley, and this was Cooper. So I just went back in and did a little bit more detail. Today we're going to be doing Talisker. <clears throat> Talisker was a uh, dog that was at one of our uh, Paint Your Pet parties back in May two years ago, and um, I thought. It was such a happy face, big smiling dog that um, I thought it'd be perfect to uh, bring some smiles to everybody's faces today uh, when we're all in quarantine. So let's get started. I'm going to just, I just wet my paints like I normally do. And um, Talisker is a pretty red dog. Um, so we're just going to do, um, mix up some colors. Let me make sure that this that's nice and tight. And... Um, so now, first I'm going to mix up all the red. Let's see here. Mixing up some red, some oranges, some browns. Let's see if anybody's out there. Yay! I got one friend. <laughs> all right. So first I'm just doing all the... Uh, the, the kind of reddish. See, this is pretty yellow over here, so I'm adding a little bit more yellow. I always start with the lightest colors first. Um, and so I'm just going to kind of... See, that's pretty dark. I have my wet paper towel ready, so if anything's too um, too dark, you, I just keep adding water. I always say water is your white. Um, and I just keep taking that same color. I'm dragging it. It's pretty red over here, so that's, that's like nice. Just drag right across the nose. So that, all that area that's kind of that red, and I'm going to go back into that area that is light and just going to add more water. But that's a pretty good color for Talisker's red. So I got a little piece of hair in there. All right. So how is everybody doing? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Carrie, for your, your, my, my, my one attendant. <laughs> so, okay. We're going to keep, I'm just going to fill up all this reddish around here pull it around so I hope everybody's doing well and uh, staying sane staying healthy hope all your loved ones are doing well praying for everybody who is anybody that's um, suffering from this horrible epidemic but we're here to bring some joy some smiles just like Talisker smiling Big happy face. Love when the dogs smile like that. That big smile. See, I'm just taking that same color <clears throat> and I'm filling it in. Even the dark spots around here. Water is your right. <laughs> That's right. That's what I say. Actually, uh, somebody told me that. Um, one of my customers told me that one time. And I thought that was such a great way uh, to explain it to people. Because I noticed that people were always using uh, white in the uh, watercolor palettes and I never use white in watercolor when I'm using painting watercolor I never use my white paint but people were filling up the paper with with the color white and um, the, the actual paint and they they ended up um, they, they make it a little bit muddier when the um, when you use the actual uh, pigment of white because it's kind of got a little bit of grayish in it Nothing is as brilliant as the uh, the white in watercolor as the paper. So that's like, see, he's got a little bit of white on his chest. I'm going to make sure I kind of leave that piece for uh, as the paper. Water is the white. <laughs> that is right. See, I'm just kind of like dragging that. And see how that's dripping a little bit? It's okay. You just take your little paper towel. You dip it, dip it along there. Same thing up here. This is pretty dark. Well, I'm going to go back over this all with um, like a darker color. Um, but for now, it's okay that you can fill it all in with this reddish. Yeah, my birdie's over there. Sure, Mian. She's very excited. She wants to paint, too. So I'm doing the whole ear. I'm adding. I'm going to add a little bit more uh, light color. See how that's pretty light up here? So I'm just kind of taking that water in my paintbrush and just almost washing uh, the color that I did off of it a little bit. But see, what happens is sometimes it'll drip. And I always tell you to do when you're painting, paint flat. Um, not, uh, you wouldn't do um, watercolor normally upright like this. 
because gravity kind of works against you. So I'm just doing all the, filling all of Talisker's pretty, I don't know where this was taken, somewhere in the city. He's a city dog. He lives on the Upper East Side, Talisker. He was a very good attendant at our, <clears throat> we had this uh, particular uh, paint your pet party at the Barking Dog. And um, he was a good boy. He sat there, watched his mom paint him. And um, he got a treat at the end. He was such a good boy. We gave him a little biscuit. And uh, so, yeah, it was right outside. I'm right next to the barking dog. So that's, um, they're still open, though. They're still serving uh, takeout. So some little bit of normalcy in uh, what's going on with everything. It's nice <clears throat> to have, a, you know, something that you're used to, some nice food from a good place. Oh, I went right on top of his white. So that's okay. See, I made a little mistake there. Take your paper towel and you dab it. I'm going to make sure I keep that part white for his chest. You just dab all that. <clears throat> see, it's pretty light there. Anyway, just going to see how I keep using, uh, wiping my brush. Because you don't want it, if it's dripping like that, you're going to kind of use your brush as almost a um, sponge and soak it up. Not like when you're, you're mopping the floor. I don't know if anybody uses a sponge mop. <laughs> uh, but that's like you squeeze out the water and then you soak it up. Same thing. Your brush is kind of like that. It's like a bit of a mop. Mops up if it's dripping. See how it's dripping here? I'm just going to kind of go with the, the strokes. When you do the tracing, um, it's kind of a good little heads up on how to go back over with the brush strokes the same way the pencil strokes were. So it kind of gives you the, um, like, kind of a... Uh, a dress rehearsal, so to speak. So it's like you traced the dog already, so now you know where all the pencil strokes are, and now you just go back over it with your uh, with the paintbrush. So it gives you a little bit of a little bit of courage for if you're um, nervous about painting. So and I'm just filling that all in. I don't go back over all those drippy areas, <clears throat> but it's okay because he's wet right now. So I'm gonna play with all this. And you'll see in the uh, original sketch, I don't know if I have it here somewhere. I had it here somewhere. But um, I do all the shadowing and everything uh, to show you. Okay, I want to do all this light. Fill this all in first before I go into any of that. See that little piece of white, this skinny piece of white. Mm -hmm, going around his collar. I believe there's like a little... We'll go back in. And, and if you paint it over a spot that has supposed to be white, um, Swiffer, yeah. <laughs> you could just um, go back over it with a wet brush and kind of remove it. So your paper towel kind of removes, soaks out the um, the color uh, if you have to, uh, if you paint it over a spot that's supposed to be white. So I left that on the collar because it's it's going to be, we're going to make that a different color. Um, I don't I don't worry about that. This part, I'm going to just kind of like pull that out a little bit. So now I want to let let him dry a little bit so it's not so drippy. Actually, you know what? It's pretty dark over here. I'm going to fill up this whole section. Now I'm going to mix in my same color I had. just going to add a lot more brown right there and then black. So I get like a nice dirty color. So see how this is the second layer now. It's like a uh, watercolor goes in like step-by-step -step layers. So like I'm just going to fill in. I'm going to put a little more brown in that. A little more orange, so it kind of goes in with what we were doing before. I don't know if you can see that. Looks pretty muddy, but that's okay. See, that's a nice color. I'm going to do all Talisker's. This is actually a great color that I'm going to use in his mouth and the brown around his nose and everything. So, idea is you want to use that same color across all the same kinds of tones along the... Uh, so, I'm going to do all that dark, the same like that muddy color I just made. I'm gonna fill up all his, like inside his mouth and his nose. His nose is pretty black, but that's okay. I'm gonna just kinda of tint it with the brown, start, and uh, and let that dry and build up so that you have a little bit of a, he's a little bit of a shine. So I don't wanna, wanna make sure I keep that little piece of white. I'll just dab that with a paper towel. First, see how I just fill the whole thing in and then I'll just go back in Fill that all in, just a little mouth. Oh, it's all pretty dark in here. It's that big happy tongue. Just gonna go fill that all around. This is still that same 
muddy. It was like a mixture of the tan that I did with uh, some brown, some black. So there's, and he's got, and you just fill that, just fill that whole chin in with this whole area like that. His gums have got pink and stuff in it, but um, that's okay. We'll we'll go back into that in a second, but just to kind of give you that, so he gets that big smile, that big happy smile. It's pretty dark in here too. See all these areas? I'm gonna fill in with that same same darkness. All right. There you go, Chelsea. Happy dog. And he's got these like awesome um, dimples. <laughs> So I'm going to fill that in. So this eye is pretty dark. There's I always like to leave a little bit of a shine, um, but it's pretty dark. So I'm just going to leave that little piece of white in, up in there. But I will go over it because it's not. It's pretty dark in there. I'm just filling it all in with the darkness, that same dark tone. So notice I'm going to use that same brown over all the spots uh, that are dark. And this It comes in all the way underneath his chin and everything like that. It's the whole section like that. Fill up into here. We'll go back over um, his, because we're going to build into that with adding in some navies and blacks. Um, but right now we're just working on all the browns undertones. See, I'm going to do that kind of big shadow there. Fill it in. I don't know what color I want to make his collar. I always like to put a little pop of color. Um, since the sky's going to be nice and blue, and these, this bench is kind of green. It's got a little bit of green in it. Maybe maybe I'll, I'll, I'll do a little bit of green in this collar, too. Why not? You can do whatever you want. It's your painting. So, anyway. Yeah, so. <laughs> the Swiffer. Swiffer it up. Never painted with a Swiffer before. So, anyway, so. Here we go. So, see, I'm to take this, that line. You'll just follow, like, like I said, the brush strokes all the way down. And now I'm gonna go back in. I'm building up a little bit of the uh, black here, and some navy. Now I'm adding navy just to give it a, a cool, cool down the, um, give it a bit of. I don't know if you can see it in there. So here I'm going back into his. See this a little bit, that blackish of his, the nose. See, this whole section is pretty dark. Don't go too dark too fast, you know? Like, just keep keep it kind of on a lighter, like a grayish, because you want to keep... See, I'm going to leave that little piece of white. Go back in. I forgot to go back in and shine that up. And there's the dog's nose. We say it's like the curl. It's like a curl. It's not like two nostrils like a human's it's got a uh, it's a hole but then a curl so and then I'm gonna fill this section see I'm dragging the brush out so I could uh, I get and make it lighter because I want to keep some of that color when you're layering on watercolor you don't want to you don't want to like um, remove the color from underneath you don't want to like brush it too hard um, but this is pretty dark I'm gonna fill this whole section in all right Okay, I'm going to follow that. This is that mixture of the brown with the gray and black all the way around. And that, that tongue is pretty dark too. But just not going too dark just yet. This is pretty pink. I'm going to go into the pink in a second so we can... I don't like to go into the darks too soon, but we kind of just started that way. We'll fill up that. See, I'm just put... I'm really pushing the brush because I don't want to, it to be too black. There. He's got his <laughs> lipstick. <laughs> He's got his, uh, his little doggy lipstick on. So, <laughs> all right. Now, okay, so let, letting these sections dry. See, this is pretty dark up in here, too, so I'm just taking all that, just using all that darkness that I had on there. Uh, let's go into the, that awesome tongue. Hey, Karen. <laughs> uh, hey, Chris. So, um, with the tongue, I always take the red, and I kind of I'm dirtying it up with a tiny bit of brown, so it's uh, but it's pretty light. 
so what you do is you you kind of water it down, add a little bit more water. But I want to have some control. See how I just dabbed it on the uh, paper, paper towel because you don't want it to be. See, that's like a nice, good start of pink. It's like a like a dirty pink. I did the red with a lot of water and some uh, going around the teeth, and just leave the leave, leave the teeth like the paper. And see, this has all that pink that's in here in these gums. I'm just going to fill all that in, except leaving the teeth. The teeth you want to leave like the paper. We'll go back in there and uh, give them a little bit of a yellow in the teeth. But, you know, we'll shine them up for them because we can do that. Because artistic license will make him look like he just came from the dentist. Shiny white teeth. You want him to look a little bit more natural, you know. But So here, I'm just filling up all his... Um, tongue with that same dirty pink. See that that tongue gets uh, it's a pretty dark shadow in there. I'm going to go back on top of that in a second. But just kind of like everything you can just layer it piece at a time. So leave that there. And there's a little bit of pink in here, so I'm just going to kind of go back on top of that and some of the gums. So, all right. So now, Talisker. I want to go into the sky. So I like to do all the big sections, you know, kind of have them all um, filled in. And then you can go, while this is drying, you can go back in on top of it. So the sky, I'm just mixing a little bit of um, the blue that is here, like a little cyan with a lot of water. Remember, water is your white. Okay. And um, I have trees drawn there. I'll go back on top of those trees in a second. But um, I'm just dipping and making sure, like I said, I would do this flat laying down because... Um, you don't want the, the trees to drip on top of uh, Talisker's face. But um, I'm going to add a little navy to that blue because it's a little too uh, Caribbean. So I added navy and cyan to that. Let's see how it comes mixing a little color. It's okay. You can have fun with the with the colors of the sky because it's it's natural. Um, you know, it, And if it's too dark, I take my paper towel and I dab it and I lighten it up. So I'm just kind of... Dragging that color. I think I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. See, that's a little bit more natural. See, I, just adding a little bit of the navy to that cyan color makes it a little more realistic. Not so... You don't have that same blue that the Caribbean has in the sky for some reason. I don't know why. So, I'm just going around. See, the, air, the dog is pretty dry up around the top, so that's why I'm going up to the edge. Wait till the dog is dry when you, when you touch the edge. Because then it'll bleed. If it does bleed, no worries. Just take your paper towel and dab that area. Let it dry and then go back on top of it. See how it went? It went a little went outside of the lines there. So I just blend it a little bit on top of the towel's face. I'm going to lighten that up. See, I'm just taking that same color. I didn't even add more color to my brush. Oh, this is exciting. My birdie's getting excited. She likes when I paint the sky, apparently. She wants where she wants to go fly. Oh, little buddy. So, uh, okay, and just going right up to the edge. Try not to go on top. Just, you see, I just have it. I'm just dragging it along. Because the dog is dry now, up along the edge. We'll go up and try to, try not to leave a little, like a white outside. I'm like, this part is that. I'm going to add a little more darkness, because it gets still dark down here. That, and then right up to the edge of the dog. All the way down. The shadow, same thing. I'm going to just... You know, do the same thing over here. Just take that dark, which was the the navy mixed with um, with the uh, with the cyan. I'm gonna actually add a little bit, make it even more darker because it gets pretty dark. It's like a parking lot. See, his mouth is a little wet, so I'm gonna like pause on that section for a second. I don't want it to drip, drip into there. I'll just kind of go up around it, and that's okay. You can leave a little piece. And just go up to the edge. Not you don't have to touch it exactly. Now I'm gonna do the park bench. That's a little bit of green. You can pick whichever green. Like I said, this, this palette has a whole bunch of different greens. You have light greens, dark greens. Mix them up. Have fun. The whole idea is to have fun. Painting is fun. So um, what's fun about using the Crayola um, kit, it comes with all the colors already. So it's not like you're only limited to like two. I've had people paint their dogs purple and pink, you know. They, you don't have to make it look exactly like the photograph. Most people want to make them look like the photograph. But I always say with the background, you can really have fun. It doesn't have to be like what, what the photograph looks like. You can really have a good field day making like rainbow colors or whatever you want. 
Well, for this, we're just kind of keep it somewhat similar to what it is, but not. Still, it's kind of fun. I like the fun colors. I'm doing a little park bench here. Yeah, park benches aren't usually that uh, green, <laughs> but that's okay. I like it because it really pops off. I'm I'm exaggerating because Talisker is uh, such a reddish orange dog that when you put um, such a cool color like green or blue next to him, really makes it pop off the page. Same with the shadows. So looks like his mouth is getting a little dry. So I'm gonna go right up that right there, and um, let's I don't know what should we do in there. Let's let's fill that all in. Same with that. Um, I'm just gonna mix that navy and um, a little bit of the black. Just darken it down a little bit. Just gonna go up all the way to the edge, right up to Talisker's edge. Pull that up. Fill that whole section there. There you go. It's kind of like the 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 parking lot or whatever. Like I said, you can do the whole background could be one color. You don't have to do the details like I did at the bench. Make it more simplified for yourself. Um, I like just, always like to have some little um, thing in the background that kind of um, places the dog in uh, space, like a line that kind of gives it a little perspective. Same, now I'm gonna seam that seam navy, go up right up against Tavelsker. Up in here, fill it all in. And I'll go back over this uh, when it dries with a little more detail. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys, you know, a little bit of, um, you know, how it's simple. See, now this is all, it's kind of dried up there. I gotta clean off my brush. When you switch colors, remember, uh, clean off your brush. Um, See, so now I don't know if I'm gonna, and it's okay. People are like, oh my god, I think I can't get that same color I had. It's okay. I'm just gonna. You just kind of can blend it. You just take a little bit more water, and you can dab it. Dab it with your paper towel. But right now, I think that looks good. I'm like, I think that's a good match. Go right up, up, right into the mouth. <laughs> I'm going to give him a blue popsicle right up in the mouth. <laughs> and go up right up to the edge. Right, right there. There we go. I always try to make sure you don't drag your uh, finger across your dog's face. Like I said, if that happens, no worries. That's what your paper towel is, your friend. It's my other, my other uh, catchphrase. Paper towel is your friend in watercolor. Water is your white, and paper towel is your friend. Okay, now I want to get into, let's do his collar. I'm going to make it a little, bit, um, a little bit of a different green. Same green, mixing it into some of the stuff. Just blended a few of them together. It's almost like a navy or an evergreen. That looks good. I'm just going to fill it all in. Keeps his little bit of white there. Um, he's got that. If you want to make metal, uh, a little cheat way to make something look metal, I just do a little bit of blue with a little black, like to make that gray, and then just dab it. So you'll see, I'm going to mix up a little black, a little bit of blue. See, that's good enough. That's metal y looking. And then I'm just going to take a little bit. This is a little on the green side, but that's all right. Don't overthink it. Like everything. <laughs> like what we're going through right now, right? Don't overthink it. This too shall pass. So, okay, I'm going back into his tongue. Um, I'm going to add some, some dark shadows in there. Oh, Birdie likes this. Another Birdie. Let me see. That's a good... Yeah, it's pretty dark. Okay, that's good enough. And this is part is pretty dark here. So I'm going to take that. It's like almost brown. Still going around the teeth. That happy face. Happy face dog. Smiling. And I'm going to go into the eyes. So this is where you got to... Um, the black is pretty gooey now. I'm just kind of... I take a lot of the water out of my... You know, sop it out a little bit on your paper towel. So you have control kind of like a uh, magic marker. And I'm going back into what you did in your drawing. I'm just going to kind of fill in the pupil. And he's got these, um, I call it like doggy mascara. Dogs have this awesome black that goes around their eyes. So, and there's a lot of shadow in there. So I'm just going to kind of fill that all in. 
I'm still leaving that little shine of white. So it kind of helps pop, make the eye pop. But and he has those like little Egyptian eyes comes down the little side a little bit. And I'll go back underneath here. And uh, there we go. And now. Yeah. And I went back into his nose and um into the, the muzzle. See it's pretty dark right inside the mouth. I'm gonna that's gonna be pretty black. I'm gonna leave that. That'll make that part of the um the muzzle pop off in the background. Drag it around here. Those gums. This is pretty black over here. And underneath the tongue a little bit. That's good. So, and then you want to do like maybe a little bit of details with the trees. And um, so I don't want to go crazy with trees. You know what? Maybe I'll make like a. Um, I'm going to take a mixture of what I did back here. A little bit of that. A little bit. So that's what I'm just kind of re recycling, mixing all the colors that I did already. Just so it doesn't pop out so much. But I'm just kind of doing those trees. This was like a photograph from the winter time. And just kind of. I don't have to go crazy. It's, it doesn't have to be exact. You know, it's just kind of something to break up the background. And these trees, like I said, you don't have to do these details in the background of your pet portrait if uh, you want to just focus on your animal. But um, I draw them in for you if you want, if you want a little bit of extra. Um, you know, and usually I'll ask, if it's a complicated background, I'll ask people if they want me to draw the background for them. I'll do that. But I want to make it enjoyable for everybody that they can um, imitate the uh, picture themselves. Okay, I'm going to go back into his yellow teeth. So you don't want to make them, like, yellow. Like, I'm just mixing a tiny bit of, there's a little bit of brown in there with a lot of water. I'm just going to kind of tint some of the areas. So they just, I'll leave some of them white. See, it's just a little bit. It doesn't look like super yellow. Just so, it's almost like you're doing a shadow. And I'm leaving a little bit of, and they, they go they go in the in the darkness over here. So they're in the back of the mouth. I'm just kind of like, leave a little bit of, there we go. And that's going to fill in right there. So there, there's a little bit more of his mouth. So kind of go back. This is, the, the mouth is pretty uh, cool. There's It's like a lot of shapes and stuff going on in there. I'm just filling up that shadow. And you can keep referring back to the drawing if, um, if you get confused a little bit. I'm going to go back in and do um, some of that, um, some of the details. He's got these Little whiskers. Dogs have these like little spots. I don't know what they call them. You know, like I said, you don't have to do them, but I think they they definitely make a, a good character. And um, he's got that shadow. I'm going back in with the, uh, the next layer of the the tans, and I'm going to go in and try to um, basically I'm following all the the drawing that I did before um, that I traced, and you could just take your brown. And, and just kind of go over those lines that I, I had drawn that you traced from the, uh, from the drawing I did for you. So, and I, I love this smile. You got to get that big dimple. Uh, that is awesome. That's that happy dog face. That's what makes people smile when they see that big happy grin on a dog. There you go. I'm going in here. See, my, my brush is pretty dry. Like, um, it's not thick the the paint and like I said if it's coming out a little bit too much you just wipe wipe off the paint on your on your uh, paper towel and just go back over it with a, a clean brush and just drag it out if it's coming out too or you can just dab it but I think that's a good see I'm gonna just drag it now I'm just taking like it's like a dirty brush and I'm just going into the fur so the fur is pretty you can you don't have to be exact with fur it's uh see my brush is pretty dry I'm just kind of Go following over his shadows over here. <clears throat> okay. And then this is a little, let me see, I'll just lighten that up a little bit. And I think like that big, that eyebrow that goes on top. Is that just, can't see it too much in the in the photo, but um, I, I add it into the drawing so you can, it kind of gives that expression that the dog, you know, they do, they have these eyebrows. <clears throat> that uh, they really show the expression, and and this this kind of shadow underneath the eye, just drag it out. So and there's that shadow goes on the other side of the eye as well. There we go. So there's my portrait of Talisker. 
thank you for everybody who was watching and um I'm doing the Paint Your Pet uh, kits uh, for if you go to PetPortraitFun.com. You can order your, your Pet Portrait Fun kit. I'll draw your dog for you. You just send me a photograph, and I'll give you all the art supplies that you need to uh, complete your own pet portrait. And then I can join you by Zoom or uh, by Facebook Live, and I can give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to paint your own pet portrait. So thanks again for watching, and everybody stay safe, and I'll see you soon. I'll be doing these um, every few days, okay? So keep up everybody's spirits, and happy pet painting. Bye. <laughs>